Hello guys. Good, good, good evening, everybody. Good evening, all the members in the house. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Let's get going for today, guys. Can you hear my voice loud and clear? Give a few quick thumbs up in the YouTube chat, everybody. Okay, give a quick thumbs up, give a quick heart, 100%, whatever, if you can hear my voice loud and clear. Good evening, good evening, good evening, everyone. Okay, and at the same time, we have added a poll here. Okay, 82 members have already voted for it. Very great to see. 83% have attended both the day one and the day two. Yes, there are some who have attended only one of the day. And yes, still there are like 10% whose day one is happening today. Okay, guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you for all the confirmations. We can see that the voice is being heard. Thank you for the hearts and the 100%. Guys, I'm telling you, this five days program is a complete solution for getting job in the IT industry. Okay. Yes, it starts from the very basic. Some of the things you might also already be knowing, but you need to understand getting a job is a sequence of many activities which all needs to be done right. Okay. You might be applying few of them already, but it's a complete suit because failure in any one of the area might impact your job hunting. Okay, so please do understand that is where patiently listen, process, and apply every single thing that we are saying. Guys, I am seriously telling you, nothing is optional. Okay, whatever we discussed in the day one, plus whatever we discussed yesterday, plus whatever we will be discussing today, everything is very essential. Okay, so guys, let's get started. The time right now is 8.04. Okay, we will straight away get to the point. But what have we done so far, guys? We have completed day one where we discuss four stages of getting jo oh, job in IT, four stages. And day two, we focused upon the shortlisting criteria based upon the year of passing. Okay. A lot of people are making the mistakes which we discussed yesterday. So we should not repeat them. Okay. And the next one is whatever we discuss in the day one, all of that is going to get results. So please do apply. If anybody of you have not watched it, no problem. I will give this uh, recordings to you in our WhatsApp group of day one and day two. So please make value out of that. Okay. Okay. Chalo, all those things said and done. Now speaking about today, effective resume building. Okay. Okay. Now point is guys. After we are here, okay, in the current times of chat GPT and AI, resume building is really becoming very easy and very playful. Okay, without any hard work, you can become a superstar of the IT industry just by using AI, chat GPT, and stuff like that. Okay, so it's pretty easy to create a resume. I don't have to really take a very extensive, great session of how to take an very effective resume. I don't really need to do that, okay? Because you take a job description, you give it to ChatGPT, ask ChatGPT, make it a IT standard resume, uh, following ATS uh, related standards, and make a resume with projects and skills it can come up by itself. Make a resume which is relevant to this job description. You just tell ChatGPT and it will give you. So point is resume building, we don't really need to really focus in very great aspect because now in the times of AI, it is pretty simple. Within five minutes, you can build any resume. Okay. However, there are some very key things which we need to understand when it comes to resume building, which might not be directly available from chat GPT and all these maybe blogs which are available. And there is a lot of confusion and chaos in the market. There are so many formats of resume, which formats to take, how to arrange the data. There is a lot of confusion happening. Some people say this is the best. Some people say this is the best. And like then as a beginner college student, we generally get confused, right? Okay, which is the actual truth? <laughs> because nobody has given us that clarity. So as part of today, I'm going to share with you those important aspects of resume building, which is really essential while you are building any resume okay and as let me tell you there are a lot of points which needs to be discussed today so i will be very much target oriented speaking to the point because we have a lot of information to cover 
in this time that we will be spending together theek hai so guys i will sincerely request all you people to put your 100% focus here because some of you might be already following this some might not follow certain aspects of these things but today with a open mind listen to all the techniques and then make a decision how you have to make modifications to your resume and that is what is going to be the target for today theek hai so everybody chalo let's start the day with full on focus okay <clears throat> let's get going let's get going everybody <clears throat> dekho in order that i don't miss any of the topic i have spent quite some time in really arranging the important topic for today into a sequential format so that we cover all the topics very pinpoint because there are like many things to be discussed theek okay? hai so i will keep taking a quick reference of that as a bullet point and then we will be explaining uh, and understanding each and every one of those points theek okay? hai so parallelly yes by the end of the session i would be sharing these notes in the chat as well so you can take that plus if you can take some running notes something which you find really okay, hey this one i should definitely do it immediately maybe take some running notes it will add some value as well theek okay? hai dekho first thing so all those things whatever notes i have i have put in a different place and while the today session happens i will be taking a reference of this so that we speak to the point theek okay? hai and don't get carried away here and there theek okay? hai so the point number 1 guys at least one project is mandatory okay doesn't matter whether you are a fresher whether you have experience whether you call yourself intern or a beginner or whatever one project is mandatory without a project in your resume many companies are not even shortlisting theek okay? hai so please understand no matter who you are what you are whether you are in your college right now whether you have done internship or not whether you are in company working professional on bench without a project it market is not going to consider you valuable and majority of the people will say if somebody has not worked on the project that simply means that person doesn't have good knowledge so please understand don't come up with saying hey but in my college I... now those are things which happened we need to do what it wants then only there is a scope that we can get job otherwise you will also be part of the crowd so the first thing which we need to do is we have to have a mandatory project in the resume which you should say yes i have worked upon that and guys dekho it is not wrong to expect this because what it is saying okay in the college final semesters itself some people from the third year itself they are expected to work on projects they are expected to do internship so ek it ka perspective this also becomes if the person was already in college he did not get any project working opportunities or internship opportunities that itself means maybe he is not good one opinion gets formed already there itself okay because good people will do something in their colleges to get some project working opportunities and then include it in the resume so please understand it wants a project in the resume in order to really consider the person okay abhi tomorrow session that is where day 4 mein we are going to speak about how can you work on project even though let's say you don't have a project right now after tomorrow session you can straight away start building your own project including it in the resume and start saying hey this is my self project you don't need to get hired but at least one minimum self project should be there so after tomorrow session i feel every one of us will have one self project to include so chalo we will be together solving this problem so right now let's not worry about it but guys write a note a one project is mandatory without project it's not going to add value okay that is point number 1 to be understood okay now point number 2 okay point number 2 guys role specific resume make role specific resume okay guys thoda sa yahan pe just uh, think along with me if you are a full stack person right now 
you might be knowing java also you might be knowing front end based let's say angular or react as well and you might be knowing python also let's say for example lot of people know a lot of technologies in the current time let me tell you what is happening actually in the it industry when the companies are opening any position we say we need a java developer or we need a python developer or we need a angular or we need a react or we need a full stack we specify what we want so in the job description very clearly we specify what we want now dekho what is happening is a resume contains project your skills and lot of tools and softwares from top to bottom resume has a lot of things now the point is when there is a hr he wants hey i am looking for a java developer if in front of this hr your resume goes in which you added all of these things yes you know it but you added everything in one resume itself maybe your latest project you are saying i've done it in python i've also worked on in angular i've done one in java also i have skills across everything you know what happens from the perspective of the hr it is a very confusing resume we don't know how good you are in java and how good you are in these other things majority of the hr feel maybe this guy knows java only 30% or 20% or only basic hrs don't get the clarity ki how good you are in this particular technology which the hr is hiring for so first step you need to understand if you build a resume which is too much chaotic and not relevant to any specific role which you are applying hrs will get confused and they will simply discard your resume because they don't know how good you are or how bad you are so don't confuse the hrs make it very clear cut to them when hr is trying to hire for a java person he is interested to see a resume where from top to bottom 80% of the resume is a java resume tools skills projects latest everything is a java 80% should be java minimum i am saying 80% if the hr is looking for python from top to bottom the top to bottom resume should shout python 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 and likewise if you are looking for angular then it should talk angular looking for react it should talk react what does this mean don't confuse the hr <laughs> as simple as that man human being is there on the other side don't confuse hrs because that's going to cause problems for you my suggestion for you is if you have multiple skill knowledge then you need to prepare multiple resumes prepare multiple resumes one for every of the skill let's say one resume of java one resume of python one resume of angular one resume of whatever react and maybe one resume where you put like yourself as full stack multiple resume needs to be created and based upon which job you are applying for you use that particular resume so hr feels confident are this person is relevant for my job opening and then he will feel like calling you otherwise if he gets hesitated he will be avoiding okay so please do understand you have to create multiple resumes now what does this mean creating multiple resumes now resumes today we will be discussing resumes will have multiple sections whatever sections are okay but in every section let's say skill in your skill section 80% skill should be let's say if you are putting a java resume it should be java related softwares technology tools your most recent project should be a java project and where you have done really some complex work if you have let's say two projects with you last project let's say you got two projects so there is project 2 which is your recent and then there is project 1 maybe you worked on this 6 months ago 
and this one is recent. So you have to make sure that your recent project, you're looking like superstar Rajni Khan there. One of Sara Kuch Kar Sakta hon. Recent project may should show that you are great in your Java skills and dealing with complexity. And maybe you might have worked on that complexity in the project one, but highlight it as part of the project two so that you can confidently walk in and tell it in interviews. Please understand. IT wants recent good people, not like somebody who was good one year ago. Okay? Please understand. So this is how you have to make your resume. If you are saying I'm a Python developer applying for a Python role, your latest project should be a Python project. So don't build a Java project there. And just the point is, you know Java, you know Python. It's just about positioning the right project so that shortlisting happens from the other side and you get an interview call. So it's not, not like you're trying to bluff or cheat anything here. Point is you have all the skills, but the market looks at people in a certain manner. We are trying to really become that person. So market shortlist us quickly. And then in interview, we will give proper knowledge because we have that knowledge. So guys, the most recent project, should be of that technology. If you are saying you're React, it should be a React. If you're saying you're Java, it should be Java. Same project may be in a different variation, try to put it. But yes, your latest project should be that. Your skills should be that. When HR sees your resume from top to bottom, there should not be any confusion. Java person ka Java resume. Python person ka Python resume. Angular, Angular. Even though you know a lot of things about front end and all, don't highlight it in a Java resume. Make sure you are more of a Java oriented person. Important things. You need to think smart. Some of you might take it and implement. Some will still continue the old way. But guys, remember the statement. If you if your resume confuses the HR, they will be simply discarding your profile. So resume should not be confusing. So based upon what role you are trying to apply, that is where the second point comes. Make role specific resume. Okay? So spend some time. Ask yourself a question. What do you know? How are you highlighting yourself? And get specific. The more specific you are, the more specific jobs you will find, you will apply and then you will network. Then day one topic, day two topic will come into effect when your resumes are also talking properly about you. Okay, nice, very good. Okay, we can see thumbs, we can see hearts. So guys, you guys are getting it pretty good. So please be aware of these basic two criterias. Okay, now, okay, nice. Simple, eh? straightforward, eh? but many people go wrong here, make mistakes, we should avoid that. Okay. Now we will be going to the third area. And this is where it gets interesting from resume building perspective. Okay. The third topic for today is the heart of today's program, which is simply ATS applicant tracking system. Okay. Let's take a quick poll. Let's take a quick poll. I think majority of the people will be aware of ATS. So depending upon how many of us know ATS, I will be asking this question. Uh, we will be accordingly getting in detail. Okay. Do you know uh, how, okay. Do you know ATS and making good resumes accordingly? Okay. We will simply ask a question. Yes or no. Please mark it in the poll guys. Okay. Please mark it in the poll team. We are assuming majority of the people should know ATS, okay? But still, there might be some of the guys who might be not aware, depending upon uh, what uh, majority of the people are or not are, we can accordingly get into details about ATS, okay? Look, guys, right now we are seeing 56, 44 chal hai from 48 members. Rest of the members also, please vote. So accordingly, I will elaborate the topic to the extent required for all of you, okay? Let's give a minute. 70 members have voted. Roughly 50-50, guys. Now, that is where 
if we are not really aware of the background story and that has that is the reason why we are struggling to really get interview calls and get shortlisted so that is where this kind of mentorship will take you forward to really add value okay okay fine chalo let's let's move on further 89 90 members have voted and currently we see almost a 50 50 result 53% says yes 47 are saying no roughly around 50 50 chal raha hai okay let me just explain it very shortly okay ats ka kaam kya hota hai guys like we discussed yesterday ke when one job role is opened on let's say naukri or any other platform thousands of people are applying okay honestly speaking i have seen many roles where 4000 5000 6000 people applied for one job role okay so now it's not really possible for hr to evaluate so many resumes so many applications and then decide which one is the right one right it's not manually possible to do it full life isi mein nikal jayenge otherwise right so what they need it needs then a software a tool which automatically takes care of these things okay so all the members who are not aware of ats please note that this tool is nothing but an ats the work of the ats applicant tracking system okay it tracks the applicant the name itself says you are a candidate so you are an applicant so it is going to track you but what basically happens is whenever an applicant is applying to a job opening you are basically interacting with a software which is ats ats ka kaam bahut simple hota hai guys hr is giving hr gives ats the job description saying i want these kind of people whoever is matching the job description hr gives the job description to ats and let's say these 6000 people are applying for that 6000 resumes are applying for that now humanly it's not possible to see out of this 6000 how many actually are relevant for us for calling for interview we cannot do that manually so softwares like ats will read all these 6000 resumes and then compare how many of these resumes match this job description and arrange these in a priority of most common okay most matching criteria to least or most relevant to least what does this mean if your resume somehow if ats finds now you might write whatever kind of resume but somehow if ats finds that your resume is not relevant for this job description it is not going to show it to the hr it will lie bottom somewhere and you will not get any interview call even if you apply at a number of places this is how things happen so that means it is your responsibility to understand what is ats how it works and how you should prepare a resume so that ats gives you more value in terms of relevance and in terms of whatever matching with jd and shows you ats okay make a resume where ats shows you on top of list this is what we have to do okay so guys i think all the 45% members who said we are not aware of ats i think this is what is the basic knowledge you should definitely have when you apply ats is going to read your resume and then make a decision are you relevant for this job if you are relevant your profile will be shown up to the hr otherwise it will be down and if it is down hr never sees your resume and never makes your call you never get shortlisted so we need to make this happen how to build a resume where ats is going to take care of us okay guys if this problem statement is clear just give a quick thumbs up or 100% or hearts whatever in the chat uh, reaction if you understood this thing very clearly <clears throat> okay guys quickly chalo if you got the problem statement here then we will speak about the next area
Hmm. Okay. So look quickly. Okay, we can see now heart pouring in, hundred percent pouring in. So shall look main problem to samajh gaya. That's pretty good. Okay, now comes how these things actually work. Okay, there you go, guys. Now it's pretty straightforward. ATS is a software. It doesn't have its own brain. Okay, so it is a machine. It it like a processor or a software which runs from top to bottom, scans it, and tries to read your resume. So. Your resume is a document. ATS reads this document. Okay, so you need to make sure that your resume which you make should be readable by ATS. So ATS is going to focus on two things. One is what format of resume you are following. Nothing but how you are arranging the sections. What are the titles of these sections? Okay. the format of your resume the layout of the resume from top to bottom why because guys imagine it is a software if it cannot read your resume how will be how will it be able to match it to the job description let's say you have put in a lot of diagrams images and so much of graphical resumes where ats is not even able to read what actually you have written it's a machine not human being it will try to read from top to bottom left to right whatever it understands it will take that try to compare it with job description and then say how relevant you are so if your resume is not following a proper format a layout a pattern you have done too much of coloring too much of fonts too much of sizes too much of diagrams and images such resumes ats is not going to read and automatically not provide it to the uh, the job description matching and you will be scored less that is where people say ke bhai follow a simple word document format <laughs> word document as simple as that word document don't make it too much colorful no don't make it too much attractive because such resumes are not being processed by ats tools Okay, some of the members might feel really bad about it. Or they are attractive, not even saying how it will that be. As they go, there is a need of colorful image, a colorful resume, but not with ATS. Maybe you can put a very nice graphical resume with uh, uh, image, okay, images, uh, colors, and all that. But that you do when you are forwarding your resume to some HR, maybe on WhatsApp or on LinkedIn, okay. or sending via email sending via email so in such case where you are not directly applying it on ats so there you can still use that because it is more colorful visually nice but when you apply to tools this is what you have to use a simple word document which is easy to understand to the ats tool human being to later it is going to happen theek okay? hai but one thing you should also know Okay, even though people you are sharing your pdfs or word document over whatsapp linkedin or emails to hr there are many hrs they will take your resume and add it to the ats only <laughs> why because they might have already 5000 resumes there and 10 more people are sharing them here and there they will like that all the resumes get tracked by the central applicant tracking system so eventually all the resumes might be fed there and if ats is not able to see your colors and all that it will not be able to match and not be able to make relevant so please understand this is the risk of having a graphical colorful attractive resume that ats might not be able to read it so my recommendation will be create a simple word document which showcases your skills and everything properly so that ats can read it human beings can read it this should be your top priority and this you use it sensibly where you see okay it is not going to have a drawback so a lot of points we are discussing minor minor mistakes people make here so this is what ats focuses on as a step number 1 it focuses on the format fonts stuff like that okay now comes the second it focuses on the content what you are writing in your resume right so once it is able to read the format next it reads the content and then it tries to compare with the job description 
And if it is matching, then it says, hey, this resume is good. That's it. ATS basically just tries to do these two things, format matching and content matching. If your format is not proper of your resume, ATS might not be able to read it. It will not shortlist you. Second, if your content is irrelevant for the job description, ATS will again get confused. Let's say you don't have the actual skills which are required in the job description. ATS simply says, no, this is not the right guy. So day one, we, we said, right, make your resume have the skills which IT needs. For that, we said, study 10 job descriptions, use chat GPT to include all those skills which IT wants, then put it into your resume. That is what is content preparation. If you are not including the right skills which are required for the project and IT, automatically ATS will say, oh, this guy is not matching and it will not be shortlisted. So you might uh, say, I'm applying since past three months, but did you take care about these things properly? That's a question which we need to really ask. Only applying, applying, applying is not going to work out because you are just part of a 6,000 members behind the screen. That's not going to help. So thoda sa smartness is required with your approach of resume building and applying. And blindly applies anyway is not going to work. Even if ATS says you're good, maybe it is saying, Deho, after AI came in picture, after chat GPT came in picture, even though your resume might be great in format, great in content, chat GPT is smart. Maybe 100 people applying out of that 70 people, if they use chat GPT, Chad, uh, ATS will say all the 70% are great people. <laughs> so please do understand with ease of AI for building the resume, then shortlisting is going to get even more challenging because now AI tools will say, oh, there are many relevant people. So before AI, this was a really very great hack to build a very strong resume. But now the problem is if you don't build a strong resume, it doesn't go in front of HR. The second problem is even if you make a, make a great resume using chat GPT, know that all the other hundred people are using it and tools will make maybe most of them relevant. So the crowd is still going to be high. So that you need to understand not having a good resume is a problem. Okay. Not having a good resume is a problem. But even after having a good resume, there is no guarantee because everybody else is doing it. You will just get the advantage over those people who are not doing it. And that is where what we discussed in day one technique, apply, follow up, network, multiple sources, emailing them, connections on LinkedIn. Those techniques will be required so that you don't stay part of the crowd. Only your resumes are not going to work out for you, but it is a required thing. So we have to do that. Even if you do great resume, it's not going to add much value because everybody else is doing that. So day one knowledge is required. Day two knowledge is required while you're doing the job hunting. Guys, every section of the five day workshop is very crucial. You have to do every single thing. Don't let chances for your own failures. This is what I will say. Don't let anything open, which will lead for you to not getting shortlisted and maybe getting rejected as well. Okay. Okay. Fine. Chalo. Simple. But hope I'm the hope. My work is to give you the right, honest clarity about what is going to happen. And once you know okay, how things actually happen, think about it logically and you will be able to make the same conclusions. Okay. And once you think it, now we have to solve it. <laughs> right. And solution we are already discussing every single day. Okay, fine. Okay, now the next thing is how, what format of your resume should be? And then we will go to what content it should have. Okay, there you go, guys. First thing you need to understand this is where it gets complex. Okay, in market, many ATS softwares are there. It's not just one software which all the companies are using. No, Oracle is using different. Other people are using different. There are many ATS softwares. They might have their own standards. And there are many valid formats of resume also. 
देखो यू नीड टू हैव क्लैरिटी देर इज नो वन ब्रह्मास्त्र सोल्यूशन विच कैन टेक केयर ऑफ एवरीथिंग बिकॉज द मार्केट इज रियली क्राउडेड so many it companies so many ats softwares different companies using different softwares and different resumes might be working for different different softwares so just understand it is chaos so we cannot really draw a conclusion ke hey, this is the best resume format no it is not it might be as good as possible but still it might be irrelevant for maybe some other kind of ats so we need to understand there is chaos in the market confusion in the market so you cannot say mine is the best resume because no it, it, it it's there is no guarantee about that <laughs> there is simply no guarantee about that you might be right for one kind of uh, ats not for the other now that means you need to actually educate yourself in knowing what is an ats how it works how it makes decision across so many ats is and guys that is what comes like ke bhai you have to do your self preparation self study self analysis majority of the people in the current times the job seekers majority are confused because they don't have the right knowledge if i will take this session i will tell this is the best resume but no it's not the best resume somebody else is taking session he will say this is the best resume on linkedin somebody drops a post this is the best resume are that's not the best resume that's multiple formats of resume and multiple things might work you need to educate yourself to understand how ats work and then you can be confident okay there are 10 resumes but my resume also works otherwise as a student many people are like scratching their head oh should i change my resume to this because i saw this on linkedin i saw this somewhere no your resume might also work his resume might also work how will you be able to make that decision only when you do self analysis i might give you a thousand stories but what if i am telling all bullshit <laughs> right what's the guarantee i might share only my experience somebody else will share their experience you need to educate yourself learn by yourself self study by yourself so that you can make a decision ke yeah what tosif is saying this resume is also right plus what my friend is saying that resume is also right and then you make your calculated aware decision ke what kind of resume you should have because you know that it will also work so just market ke piche bhagne se nothing is going to happen just being part of the crowd nothing is going to happen confusion chaos mein that is what people are getting frustrated job seekers What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Chalo, let's understand what's actually happening. What's the right way? So, my sincere suggestion to all you people is: there is a website in the market called as called as JobScan. Co. Okay, there is a website in the market JobScan. Co. Lot of ATS related websites might be available in the market. Okay. so don't feel that this is the only website but this is one of a very good source their primary work is ke bhai helping uh, people build the right resumes cover letters and apply for jobs this is a site basically for job seekers okay so jobscan.co what i would recommend all of you people is dekho without self education you will always be confused lack of knowledge so always there are going to be problems for you so educate yourself how do you educate yourself is with this simple thing visit this jobscan.io spend 2 to 4 hours before you really make your resume study it you will find all of the information here okay ki okay what is an ats how to optimize your resume for ats how to write an effective resume what kind of resume templates are available what are the multiple resume formats which are available and some pre selected things you spend 2 to 4 hours a lot of clarity will come after you do this maybe go to youtube see 3 4 videos there about what people are talking about ats collect all that knowledge and then you will be a sensible mature student who can make a smart decision dekho guys every one of you is intelligent but your intelligence is impacted by the knowledge that you consume if you don't have this knowledge what kind of intelligent decision you will make no you cannot make a intelligent decision 
in order to make a decision you need to have the right knowledge so first consume the knowledge then you can make a smart decision don't blindly follow my words okay you do your research because that will give you peace of mind and confidence that yes i am doing the right thing and then even thousand people come and say no no this is not right you will say like hey aisa nahi hota hai bhai aise bhi hota hai this is also how it works and you will be more confident in your job hunting confidence is lacking in the current job seekers self doubts are emerging confusion is there in the market and that is where frustration is there and worry is piling up in the market we need to solve that ठीक है सो माय सिंसियर सजेशन रीड अबाउट इट इट्स अ प्रीटी लॉन्ग ब्लॉग्स दे हैव रिटन जस्ट सी सो मच व्हाट इज एटीएस हाउ इट वर्क्स अलोंग विद एग्जांपल्स हाउ पीपल यूज इट हाउ इट मैचेस बहुत कुछ है तो स्पेंड सम टाइम कपल ऑफ आवर्स यू डू योर ओन हार्ड वर्क सो दैट यू विल गेट नॉलेज ओके इवन इफ आई स्टडी इट एंड गिव इट टू यू व्हाई शुड आई डू दैट डबल वर्क इफ इट इज ऑल अवेलेबल देयर यू डायरेक्टली टेक इट फ्रॉम द सोर्स ना व्हाई शुड आई एक्ट लाइक अ फिल्टर फॉर यू you educate your own self you will learn something better than what i can summarize it in maybe 30 minutes right so spend 4 hours you will get more knowledge go to youtube whatever we discuss consider that and together gain that knowledge and make a decision okay okay all that is fine so once you start doing all of these things you will see these guys have applied a lot of resume templates okay a lot of resume templates you can simply download these okay and start working i guess sign ups or something is required and accordingly you will be able to access these but there are so many resume formats which they are saying they are ats compatible resume formats because many ats's are there multiple formats might work they are all summarizing just see multiple types of resume formats and all of them works now that's the magic all of them works so once you educate yourself you can choose the right format but if you see they are all plain word documents it is considering ats in mind it reads it scans it so don't give too much of pdfs partitions columns colors images because ats might not be able to read it so that's the learning here that we need to have spend some time how to use a resume template uske bare mein bhi guide hai ki how do you choose something which is specific how do you tailor your resume for every time applying so sara kuch lot of techniques are shared here theek hai spend some time in this section resume templates okay now with regards to format i will just say this thing okay we'll stick to the point two primary things ats focuses format and content these guys have really summarized it very properly with regards to format there are basically three types of format chronological functional hybrid what is that read about it but the popular one in the market okay which many people is actually getting values and interview call is when they use something called as hybrid now in this section resume formats they have explained the pros and cons about everything and then they have given some formats which one is chronological what is functional layout what is a hybrid layout and people are saying hybrid is a more standard uh, useful one in the current times okay how do you how do you see that they have further explained each of that if you really go here chronological pros and cons functional resume fine okay they have explained it in very nice details and hybrid resume the hybrid resume is becoming more popular and it combines the best aspects of chronological and functional resumes together so this is getting more popular getting more valuable theek hai and then it shows how a hybrid resume looks like in terms of arranging the data okay so just see here they have given a hybrid template here they have given this kind of hybrid template if you really see here a uh, name is there plus right side me some details and then there are multiple sections here okay same document i have downloaded and made it available here this is a simple template of hybrid which is downloaded from that location this is how it looks like name basic details here contact and all that maybe a couple of lines explaining your summary 
Next, your skills, accomplishments, if they are relevant for the job, you can put it here. Next, work experience, education. OK? That is how it is. A simple layout, which really gives a value out to the reader. OK? Now, the thing is, just see, here is this. If you download it from here, you will get something like this. That's fine. But if you scroll down in hybrid section, they are giving another kind of resume also, which is nothing but still the same if you see. It is having, yes, your name, your contact details. A bit pattern is changing. Instead of writing a line and then all the sections here, maybe it is center aligned section. But this is also a hybrid one. So that will, this will also work. And this will also work. This is the top section. This is these are your skills. This is your experience section. This is your education section. So majorly, the format is like this. First, you explain a couple of lines as a summary. After that, you go to the skills. After that, you talk about your experience. And after that, you talk about your education. Keep this format, whether you are a fresher or experienced, keep this format. Yes. Yes, whether you are fresher or experience, keep same format. Some of you might be like, nahi, nahi, aise thodi hota hai. Are, aise hi hota hai. <laughs> the answer is pretty simple. You yourself know IT industry considers experienced people more than freshers. Yes or no? You yourself, all the freshers on internet is crying and complaining. Everybody wants experience. Everybody wants experience. Nobody shortlisting us. So you know that experienced people are being shortlisted. There is more value for them. If there is more value for experienced people, then why do you build a resume which is not like experienced people? Common sense, guys. If their resumes are being shortlisted. They are getting opportunity. So you also build a resume which looks like an experienced person. Fine, you might be like, but how do I put content? Array, for that, we are there. Nah. So today, let's discuss it together. There are solutions for all the problems. Look for those. Think, imagine. Don't get stuck in your problems because market is hard. And further, lack of knowledge will make it worse for you. Is getting it? Both fresher and experience have the same format. It is value add for the fresher because HRs will feel, oh, this guy is experienced maybe. And then it might help you in getting shortlisted. If they automatically get a feeling, oh, this guy is a fresher, they might reject it there itself. Why give the chance to the HR? So my strong recommend, strong recommendation is while choosing the format, choose hybrid and keep it like experienced person only don't create like your childish college time whatever they might be teaching in your colleges don't include all those things this is how you build your resume format okay now the thing is i have done some experiments with this format okay i have done some experiments you might be like but come on there are so many things here okay this is what the layout is looking like right Okay, fine, name is there, two line summary is there. In the resume format, they're even explaining what to write in every of the section. Skills, they say. Okay, fine. And after that work experience, you might be like, as a fresher, what is my work experience? As a fresher, how many skills will I actually know? As a fresher, should I really write my education at the very bottom? Because that is what is my prominent. No, yeah. go ahead like confidently as a experienced person in interviews, even though you are a, a fresher. How exactly? OK, first of all, I will show you something. I made some experiments out of this. Yesterday, last time when we connected, I think on the day one, OK, I showed you this, right? No crease has him having a resume quality check. I made some modifications in the resume, uploaded it in Nokri, and Nokri is saying, Look, this is where my resume belongs after making some modifications. I will give you this resume also so that you can make further modifications on top of this. 
and i will even tell you how i made this resume which is scoring so high and the main point here is you are among the top 1% of job seeker for the role top 1% that means if you think sensibly you can build a resume which can compete far better than many other people and nokri is one of a very strong player in the indian market for job seekers if they can run these things and tell that's how it works okay strong player in nokri so we can trust his analysis what i did is created a resume something like this use this format which is given here and made a resume of this nature now there might be multiple formats which might work also but this is something which i felt has really worked for many people name some details next a few lines about summary of your everything we will now talk about every section but yes summary about everything after that skills and accomplishment after that maybe something about accomplishment if you feel no 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 i don't want to include accomplishment here fine nikal do keep it only skill section after that work experience include the term even if you are a fresher include the term work experience call yourself as whatever java developer angular developer i will speak about all of these things then include your project include what did you do in the project and maybe if you have more than one project include that put the education in the end after that put the certification section maybe you can put accomplishments and certifications at the bottom but just understand a simple hybrid format few lines of summary few lines of skills then jumping to the work experience covering that work experience what did you do what was your project about and then going to education and finally maybe certifications okay and this kind of resume when i'm downloading and making it available on nokri okay let's let me go here this kind of resume okay is there a option upload another one okay currently it is taking this itself check score for another resume that option is available i can upload it okay let's say this resume we were talking about i will just download this file download as a pdf okay it came next going here upload this one into nokri okay just just check it out what it says know where your resume quality stands among others analyze your current resume to get feedback blah 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 and then uploading and then it says how they work upload the resume then they have written some algorithms which includes ats rules and multiple things to score your resume our algorithm scores your resume on basic of 25 parameters and benchmarks on basic of 25 parameters and benchmarks against other job seekers and then they are going to give us some feedbacks about it so yes they are doing some good work here to help job seekers to build the right resumes in comparison to a huge database of nokri and then let's see this one we downloaded 855 i'm uploading it here okay and just see this is what they say after analyzing your resume quality is high okay further yes excellent always guys even pepsodent and colgate liye to 99.9 ka guarantee hota hai germ thoda reh jata hai so no matter how much you try there is always scope for excellence but at least we build a resume which is scoring high and belonging in the top 1% of job seeker on nokri you can imagine that is such a big uh, system and then they are further explaining based upon how they have done the analysis so please understand i will share this format with you okay i have prepared this for some months tech people something something is available and then i have even prepared one for java related people also some basic but now we need to understand ki bhai structure of this plus at the same time content of this okay both structure knowledge is required 
as well as content related knowledge required but just know it yes we went to hybrid we understood hybrid we took that resume template we made some modifications for each of the section and we kept our measure point ki naukri should score us good and we started doing that and then now we are belonging as part of 1% of job seeker resume i will give you the word documents of this as well as this and then whatever knowledge we will share today you use that knowledge use these resumes make modifications and build a strong naukri compliant resume which is going to be having better value compared to other people okay so guys are you getting it okay whatever we discuss so far let's take a quick poll everybody okay let me add a quick poll what is your understanding level currently your current uh learning score okay 5 4 3 2 2 let's put a poll let's see how the learnings are going kya baat hai to ke chalo 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 let's see anything 4 and 5 is awesome theek hai once you put some hard work from your side you will be able to do all the things very nicely if rest of the people are there to thoda sa aur effort dalna padega you have to put more things to learn understand and make decisions and then you will be able to further make more output out of these things theek hai guys 70 people have marked 130 we see concurrent users few more few more can you go can we just reach at least guys listening are you guys listening <laughs> what is your understanding share it here otherwise am i talking only to walls that doesn't work out guys market is hard job seeking is tough we need to know the difference between success and failure difference between who will get job and who will not and why we are not getting what should we change to get it small small things we need to spend some time here okay very good to see from 90 people who voted everybody is 5 and 4 i'm really happy to see that that is really great and learning and understanding score theek hai okay fine chalo let's let's move on now format to we are saying you can use this kind of format it is working for me i will give it to you all all these things i will give you this one also i will give you mon also i will give you this also plus i will now discuss with you how we prepared this document and even as a fresher how you can have all of these things even as a entry level professional how you can have all of these things and some of you might be junior level programmers right now in it you can also consider and update your profile to so, sara ka sara system we will give it to you so that you want apply that and get maximum value out of these things theek okay? hai so, chalo let's understand now the second part comes guys which is content <laughs> okay there go it's pretty obvious remove first all your self doubt okay can i include all of this guys if it wants it then yes you have to include it as simple as that if it wants it you have to include it how do you make a decision what to include we will come to the professional summary section okay we will come to the professional summary section but first of all let's talk about the skills related part okay you might be like i don't know any of this as a student or as a beginner or as a intern or maybe working in it industry you have a job offer there are people working getting monthly salary but not allocated on the project so what happens if you are not allocated on the project you don't get learning opportunity and accordingly you don't get skills to be added to your resume still problem is going to be there in your shortlisting so please do understand this we are saying in the beginning of the session today we said no matter who you are one project is mandatory mandatory without this any ways your resume is waste doesn't matter how you make if project is not there it is waste and now guys what does this mean so banana padega if that is what is required we have to do that there is no option other than that 
don't try to think how do i still get into it industry without adding a project that's a wrong problem to be solved <laughs> you might not get the job for the next 6 months also solve the right problems okay how do i make a project that works right solve the right problems so we said in the beginning of today's session one project is mandatory tomorrow we will guide how to do that but please understand working on a project whether it is a self project or whether it's an internship or whether it's in any company or whether it is non profit yesterday's topic whether it is a, a freelancer or whether it's a open source working on any project basically gives you tools softwares end to end working process of working process of building the software nothing but a kind of a sdlc so it's not just about your technology guys it's not just about i know java core java advanced java are with core and advanced java projects are not built up framework knowledge is required just with javascript real time projects are not built up framework knowledge is required so the point is when you start building actual real time projects you need to have right technology right tools right softwares and guys it's not just about your programming language that programming language is only one section here maybe you need to know about core which includes some concepts algorithms data structures programming advanced java which includes some advanced java related concepts then the java frameworks like spring and all that if you are aware of it next you have to work with databases you need to include that in your resume maybe no sql databases mongo and stuff like that include that in your resume if you have some basic knowledge of web the majority is java dominated for a java profile only one liner we gave about these hr will know oh this guy is a java guy you explain too much about these sections hr gets confused are kaun sa skill hai ye hero ka <laughs> right so you don't confuse the hr yes you know it put it as one liner statement and just leave it there but majority elaborate the actual role which you are trying to apply after that guys agile very common version control system everybody should know about it testing and debugging related when you work in projects you should know these things then problem solving communication but just understand it's not just about i know core java it's about knowing the softwares knowing the tools knowing the processes that value you get when you work in project and that is where it is saying ki bhai hire a person even for fresher who has worked on some project so we need to get that knowledge seekhte hai let's learn it so now now the thing is first if you work on this any project one project mandatory any project tomorrow we will say how automatically your skills and all of these things will start growing here okay further i will give you one more solution if you are getting too much confused ke hey, what is all this i don't know all these things okay fine no worries there is another website for your help called as roadmap.sh roadmap.sh here you can to know what technology you are supposed to know as whatever role you are into for example if you want to become a back end developer then there is a clear cut road map ke what a back end developer is supposed to know this will guide you and all of these things are being used in real time industry this might be something more than that in your projects a subset of this knowledge is going to be there but roadmap.sh will help you to make decision ki what should i learn and what should i actually include in my resume based upon the value of it so thoda bhi hard work is again required how to come up with these skills i will tell you but understand one project is mandatory and that project will make you include all of these skills and how to include these skills you can compare it from roadmap.sh and it will tell you okay you want to be a back end developer just see back end developer 
in that java is sitting here learn a programming language baki ka there is a ocean of knowledge you have to get other than just your technology knowledge and that is where it wants people who have done project work because they understand these other things also so you have to learn these things that is where yesterday we said right preparation is required without preparation market will kick you out it will not give you respect also if you are not good in technology so this roadmap dot sh will tell you what to learn okay learn about internet maybe you can click on every of the topic it will give you links maybe youtube recordings plus links where all the explanation is also available so in one single place you can find all the learnings if you say okay how the dns and how it works click here you will find links where you can read it otherwise all this is self study the more you spend time here the more intelligent you will become the more knowledgeable you will become the more confidently you can talk in an interview and then you need to know about internet then you learn a language java then you learn even about version control system because in project this will be required you learn something about then git and all of these things which part of version control next you learn something in database relational database learn something about apis in the current world apis are very common and then maybe something about caching something about security there is a lot to know at least basic awareness you should have basic awareness maybe do some small projects about it in your ide learn something about that and now if you want to know more about java then you can go okay in java i want to know something yes there is a java skill based roadmap also you can click here so you are learning from this big roadmap.sh you reach to a java point and now you want to get into more details about java it will tell you fundamentals of java getting deeper knowledge memory collection serialization jvms next you knowing the build tools in java next knowing the web frameworks in the current times web applications are being built up in java so you need to have this framework knowledge next orm if you want hibernet and other knowledge orms are available jdbc is there logging is there you can learn all of these things and all of this dekh okay, guys when you work on one project these all things or majority of these things you will be exposed to which you can have it in your resume even if you have done an internship in some company you will get exposure to all of these things or majority of these things majority of these things majority of these things and all of these you can take and put it into your resume and just see how much difference your resume has with somebody who knows versus somebody who is just a college just knowing a few technologies and not even having awareness about what all these things are and not mentioning them in the resumes you can see why the market values people with project knowledge versus those who not because people with project knows a bigger set of things compared to those who have never worked in project so it is not dumb they are making a very smart decision by saying one project is mandatory if you cannot make that project you are on the losing end that is problem with you not with the industry so your right aim should be how do i work on a project how do i know these tools how do i take it forward so to summarize to summarize i will say here okay i will say here when you work on one project even as a fresher self project all of these things whatever we discussed when you work on on this you basically learn the tools learn the softwares learn the sdhc all of this in details you can learn it from roadmap.sh later now you have to come up with a learning plan ki how do you learn more about it do you need to take courses do you need to take online offline classes whatever but learning is required and that's where we said yesterday itself do parallel job hunting do parallel learning because it is not spending time in training the freshers now in the current times मार्केट का हाथ टाइट है तो इफ मार्केट इज नॉट टीचिंग यू विल यू नॉट लर्न यू विल मेक योर सेल्फ मोर प्रॉब्लमैटिक इफ यू डोंट ग्रो योर नॉलेज सो इन्वेस्ट ऑन योर सेल्फ एंड स्टार्ट लर्निंग दीज थिंग्स वॉट एवर कैन बी डन फ्री डू फ्री वॉट एवर कैन बी डन विथ पेमेंट डू विथ पेमेंट बट लर्न विदाउट लर्निंग इट्स नॉट अ सोल्यूशन नॉट अ सोल्यूशन एंड रिलाइंग ऑन द आई टी इंडस्ट्री दे विल हायर एंड ट्रेन मी इट्स गेटिंग मोर वर्स वी डोंट नो 
when the situation will come back because too much of crowd is there in the market big companies are dealing what will small and medium do so this is how you have to now learn stuff roadmap.sh all of this but go back to our day one session go back to our day one session the approach which we recommended was right from let's say tomorrow your resume should have all of these major things <laughs> your resume should have whether you know it or not because if these things are not there anyway shortlisting is not happening so the smart strategy which we discussed on day one is your resume may you should already include all the skills and things which it wants now comes the question how do you do these things right how do you do all of these things and then it boils down to the simple stuff guys use ai play around with chat gpt i simply asked it a question share me technical skills to be added in the resume as one year experienced java developer working on spring boot and microservices include major keywords added in job description by majority of hrs that's it you are a fresher but if you can think you can type this kind of a statement you don't know anything about what it includes but chat gpt has all the knowledge of the world so many resumes might it might have read so many online portals and jds it might have absorbed it is able to make sensible decisions ki okay your technology skill should have all of these things then what i said add more striking keywords that would be covered and passed by ats is of majority of job descriptions so i know ats is there i know that i need to have all the keywords required to pass by ats content now we are generating so that is what is the second thing first is the format second is the content now we are trying to generate the content using chat gpt which will pass through majority of the ats is that's what is available here and anybody can do it and hopefully many of you guys are already doing it but if you are not doing it know that chances are very slim for you because if you don't have your resume like that shortlisting and everywhere is a problem so i said this and then chat gpt gave more of those things okay then i said ki include it into proper sections it gave it all into proper sections okay so i just asked finally played around with chat gpt for some time and finally it gave me this so you play around 10 minutes 15 minutes it told so many things to be added how we started is only okay java spring boot microservice because i know projects happen in real time technology simple if you say core java project it is not going to add much value in your resume you need to have valuable projects more sounding like real time so that you will be more shortlisted because it feels ke you have worked on actual knowledge stuff so we just ask this as the input and then as a end result we got so much programming frameworks web database version control build tools testing framework restful apis concept docker container cloud platforms ide is agile debugging so much guys it's not hard to find all these things you just need to think do it will come to you now you might be like hey but i don't know all of these things how much i should really know for that go to roadmap.sh read whichever starts making sense to you make decisions okay so i will be taking this i will be taking this but guys if you drop everything automatically your resume will come back to zero where it is not what the it wants so your approach should be something like this let me give you a step by step plan first of all okay for skill section go to chat gpt okay go okay skill section chat gpt i added these kind of questions i will paste these questions question 1 then question 2 then please include it okay it it did not give me in the proper order it made everybody like this we cannot include like this kind of thing in the resume so i asked if i group it together 
सो so, थोड़ा आई प्लेड अराउंड विथ इट एंड फाइनली आई जस्ट गॉट इट इन टू दिस फॉर्मेट सो सिंपल दो चीजें ओके यर इन नेक्स्ट चैट आई अगेन प्लेड अराउंड विथ इट Share me technical skills to be added in the resume. As fresher Java developer worked upon Spring Boot and microservices, and include majority keywords added in the job description by majority of the HRs. Ek, we are trying to build a skill set which many people, many job uh, HRs are posting for many job descriptions, so that our resume comes like a good match to the ATS and to the job description. So we are feeding the right inputs here. We are feeding the right inputs here. Majority of the HRs, majority of the ATSs, majority of the job descriptions include the keywords. We added all that, and then it started providing things. All of these things. They go. कितना सारा details. Okay. And then I played around with it. कि भाई add more striking words, group it together so it looks nice in my resume. and also ensure the skills are such that it passes by majority of the ats on the job description so playing around with the same thing i will give you all the session notes so think about it but it's some basic typing nothing wonderful about it basic things if you do it right we are able to get these kind of skill sets and then i said ki bhai group it together kitna alag alag de raha hai and then it gave me all of them together guys within 10 minutes from nowhere we are able to get the skills which are required for real time projects which the it industry is already using without even you knowing any of the name you can have all this now your first step is we need to include this in your resume okay so step number 1 is use chat gpt for finalizing the skills i would suggest step number 2 on the day one we said you read 10 job descriptions and you see what the hrs are actually asking for and then you compare compare this output of your hard work when you read 10 jds see what the hrs are actually asking for your role you compare that compare this with what chat gpt gave you you will be able to get some common set and then on top of that step number 3 you go to this roadmap.sh and try to make sense ki what should you actually include thoda hard work is required maybe two days analysis will go in simply doing this work but guys this is like this analysis is like putting a petrol in your vehicle if you don't put petrol in your vehicle your vehicle will not run bike ka example le lete right You will be like, "Me go chalan na. I have to drive. I have to drive." Arey, wait and put the petrol first. Without that, kahan jaunge? You will always fall in pit. You will not even move. You will not get job. You will not get shortlisted because you don't have the right uh, fuel for driving your job seeking process. No matter what you do, you will always cry, complain, blame, and that is happening for majority of the people. because you cannot wait for 3 days to do this research analysis finalizing you are just copy pasting what others are doing and others don't know what they are doing so ultimately you also don't know what you are doing everybody you your friends everyone is sitting in the market give me job give me job give me job that's the problem we are into which you need to solve for yourself are you guys getting it are you understanding it give a quick thumbs up if this rings some bells in you it needs some hard work it needs some research करना पड़ेगा गिव अ क्विक थम्स अप गिव अ क्विक लाइक्स इज इट मेकिंग सेंस इट हैज टू मेक सेंस इफ इट इज नॉट मेकिंग सेंस पुट एफर्ट्स टू मेक सेंस ओके गिव अ क्विक थम्स अप गिव अ क्विक लाइक्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग Okay, we see hundred percent. That's pretty good. Now that's confidence. When you say hundred percent, when you say hearts, now that's confidence. Good stuff. Hmm. Absorb. Let's face the problem. Let's solve the problem. Face the problem. Solve the problem. Face the problem. Solve the problem. For how long crying, guys? Think intelligently. Use internet. Put hard works. I'm not saying this all is easy, but 
once you take responsibility you will make it happen it's intelligently approaching the problem here of how can i get job in the it industry and you don't need anybody you can self do it by using internet that's it smartly you have to approach okay chalo nice thanks for all the confirmations still the chats are rolling with reactions pretty great to see that pretty great to see that okay theek hai fine chalo now let's let's continue further okay let's continue further ke skills to aise bana lenge now now comes this thing project section okay now comes this thing project section hey go again like i am saying tomorrow we will talk about projects so right now let's not spend too much time but one thing you have to know with regards to projects tomorrow we will speak about the projects so dekho isse skill to mil jayega you will be able to add it all into the skill section next comes project which we are calling as work experience now guys dekho point is forget about what is the technical meaning of work experience even if you are doing a self project for yourself you can call it as work experience why do you not use this term even as a fresher so go ahead call it as work experience only because you are doing work when you work on one project it is work and yes you are gaining some experience so that is experience let the hr break their head ki why have this guy said it as a work experience let their problem but you build a resume which actually goes to the hr so call yourself as work experience only work experience or maybe simply experience next whatever role you are trying to apply include that role that i am this kind of a java developer if you are mon mon python python we will speak more about this why this role is important but you call yourself a java developer even if it is a self project next comes which company you are working this project for if you are part of some company you can put the name of the company here if you are not part of any company you are doing a self project simply include s e l f self here simply put self here hr ko baad mein samjhate hai bhai mera project hai it's my project but include this will make your resume look like a proper working professional this and then whichever is your place where you are doing the coding you can include that and then maybe a few lines about the project that you are doing and then maybe something about the responsibilities what you are doing there okay tomorrow we will speak about how to have the project how to have this description how to have this responsibility okay that's for tomorrow but one thing you understand okay few more things with regards to same we are just uh, discussing with regards to same patches you might say but even as a person a fresher working on self project will he really know so much things because it sounds so much now point is that is the value that you get when you actually do some internships with some companies because you will actually get exposure to all of this now you need to understand this guys dekho project is a project project is a project whether you are fresher whether you are intern whether you have 5 years of experience whether you have 10 years of experience project will always have same set of technologies same tools that means whatever a four year of experience person puts in the resume almost 70 to 80% same things you can also put in the resume because both of them are working on the same project which has the same skill same tool same everything maybe yes how much you know those skills tools and all might differ but at least in your resume you can have all of that even if you know 20% of that then also it is fine because you know 20% of that this is a very strong understanding which you need to have the project does not differentiate whether it's a beginner working or 20 year of experience working project is a project which has same process same skills whether it's a beginner whether it's a 20 year of experience person so if whatever he can put in the project you can also put the same names yes he might know it 100% you know it 20% but we don't highlight that i know 20% we are telling in the resume i know that that is how you build your resume which will 
be like, oh, this guy knows these things and it will shortlist and get to the HRs. So please be aware of this. Don't hold yourself back. Don't cut down on the technology. Know the right things and then learn these things. Because without this, always market may struggling is happening. So know okay, what needs to be done and then put efforts in preparation. Hey, go guys, what is happening? If you don't put in preparation, one hour, two hours daily, you are putting efforts for getting the job. Remaining time, you are wasting in crying, complaining, blaming social medias, movies, and just laziness. Two hours karo ge, and rest of the time crying, full day. Then two hours are it. Today also I apply, apply. Rest of the time wasting. Your life should have a purpose. Your purpose right now is I should get the job. For that you have to work ten hours every single day. I am telling you how you will guaranteed get the job, and it will need ten hours every single day of efforts to be put in. So this is the solutions that we are discussing. But yes, if you say give me a shortcut, give me an easy way. It does not exist. Market is hard. If people are not good, working employees are being laid off from the companies. How do you think a non-good beginner is going to be given an interview opportunity? That is what is the truth. Face the consequences for your actions and face the consequences for your not taking actions also. You have to face your consequences and it is coming. You waste your time every single day, consequences are coming. You don't see that yet. It's easy to watch an IPL game or a movie and hang out with friends and still blame and complain and wait. Right now, market is bad. Later, it will improve. No, it will not improve because it's too much crowded. The people who are waiting, they will continue to wait. And the people who take charge in the current times, they will get job in the current times itself, not after six months. So you need to do the work in order to get the job. Hope that is opening some of your minds. Hope that is opening some of your minds. <laughs> Rest everything is crap. Shortcut does not exist. Nothing does not exist. Hard work is what is going to give you rewards. Fine. So this is what it is. Skills laga lunge. Next project ka tomorrow we will speak. We told the rest of the things. Once you have one project, even a self project, you can have all these skills here. Tomorrow we will say how all these things happen. One last input with regards to project I will say. If you really check this thing out, the instructions that we were giving to the chat GPT, we were again and again telling major keywords major keywords added in the job description please understand wherever there is a job description posted internally there are going to be some keywords which are nothing but important words for that job description ats is a software what it does it runs the job description it finds what are the important keywords then it scans your resume tries to find the important keywords and then it tries to do the comparison of both and says, hey, this resume is relevant for you because a lot of things are common between you two. These are called as keywords. And I was just spending some time on internet. And just see here, from somewhere in the internet, we copied a job description. We are hiring blah, blah, blah. From somewhere in internet, we copied this job description. And I just asked, Okay, give me ATS keywords from below job description. And then it started providing me. I played around with it. Okay, summarize it to me properly. I simply said, okay, categorize them into hard skills and soft skills. And then it categorized. These are all called as keywords. Job description, there is a lot of English vocabulary, English statements, English sentences. A lot of those things are there. But when you really boil it down, these becomes keywords, the technology, the tools, the softwares. These are your, called as your hard skills. And then these are called as soft skills, team player, effective communication, team collaboration, mentorship. So whenever a JD is posted, it will have these important technology words. And in your resume also, these kind of keywords will be there. ATS will try to find these keywords from your resume. It will try to find these keywords from the JD. Then do a pattern matching and then give it. 
so that is the reason we are constantly telling your chat gpt okay give me major, include the major keywords added in job description so that whatever this final skills that we get it includes all the majority of the keywords and plus if you have done all of this thing okay you are also studying from 10 jds from roadmap.sh those skills will have everything that it needs and yes those are really required skills now why i'm repeating the keywords here is the major keywords next is important step guys the major keywords which are considered or covered in your skill section should also be repeated in your project section you have to repeat the skills multiple times that is how ats will say oh these skills are repeating multiple times so then based upon that it will say oh this guy is more relevant for you so repetition of keywords increases your chances for resume matching so this is what it is in your resume two three times try to repeat the important keywords maybe as part of your summary also put it skills also put it project also put it when there is repetition of important keywords then ats will say oh these guys are matching very closely to you let me shortlist and your profile will be given on top so that is the next tip for you guys repeat the same major keywords i'm saying no it's not possible to take all the 50 but at least the top 10 keywords which are really the differentiators okay you repeat the same major keywords multiple times in summary skills and project section with repetition of major keywords in all of the places automatically magic is going to happen okay what you can say you can take this project whatever this project is you can take this project copy paste entire project in chat gpt and you can take your entire skills and say chat gpt okay all the major keywords included in this maybe the top 10 major keywords included in this include that all of them in the project section you can ask chat gpt to do that it will rewrite your entire project summary in a manner where those skills will be highlighted as your super skills and then that becomes your project description guys eik time pay what are we waiting for all the solutions are there you just need to think use internet use ai and work will happen for you simple interesting that's what it is chalo it's 9 35 we still have some more topics to cover we will pace now forward to project section ka what to do we will talk later but these are some important things about the project section whether you are a fresher or 10 year of experience same skills will be there okay next same set of tools same this next repeat it at multiple sections next remember always include this work experience even if you are doing a self project call it as a work experience call yourself as a proper java developer and then call yourself as self and stuff like that okay next include your project in the project repeat the major keywords use chat gpt effectively for making this happen tomorrow we will say how can you actually work on this not just theory practically code even these projects tomorrow we will understand that Masaiga make job hunting a game a challenge it will be fun okay fine chalo so far so good next moving on once you're doing all this thing where are we in our resume we are almost at the final section you go if possible try to include two projects if possible if not possible try one if possible try to do two i will give you this resume you modify yourself on top of this resume take chat gpt do it here they then take the download of this go to nokri and then measure how much score it is giving to you so modify on top of my resume guys your fonts are also important font sizes layout spaces what is bold what is not bold all of that is also considered how these things are arranged it is also considered based upon these factors ats is going to read that is where if you change something alignment font sizes misalignments bolds and all not properly it will have different impact here 
not just the content but the formatting also matters a lot for getting a good score so i i will suggest take these resumes which i am sharing and then you replace every section with your content and then you check your scores on nokri kind of things don't do it reverse way you don't take start with your resume and then start modifying that don't do that formatting might be wrong no matter even if you include your content properly still it might be challenging so the right approach is take this resume and then start modifying and replacing your content in this and then checking where does your score stand with nokri so that is the suggestion which i will make okay download and modify the resumes which i would share don't use your isko leke modify okay use whatever you know already chat gpt and other things how to do that but now in the end okay compare final version with nokri and this is the nokri url i'll give it here okay fine this is the nokri quality score one sincere suggestion guys in your resume make sure ki naam to tumhara hona chahiye by mistake don't give your my phone number or my email <laughs> okay make sure you replace the important information okay fine now after doing all of that we are reaching to the final section of the resume the education section okay देखो फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स ऑलवेज कंसिडर द लेटेस्ट एजुकेशन टेंथ ट्वेल्थ को छोड़ दो ऑलवेज कंसिडर योर लेटेस्ट एजुकेशन इंक्लूड विच ईयर यू आर पासिंग डोंट कवर बिलो देन दैट इवन इफ यू आर फ्रेशर फॉगेट अबाउट योर टेंथ ट्वेल्थ डज नॉट मैटर इंटर प्लस टू टेंथ प्लस टू इंटर डज नॉट मैटर अवॉइड ऑल दैट फोकस ऑन योर रिसेंट दैट्स इट second tip if you have bad percentage don't include it in the resume if you have good percentage include it that's it that is what is for education and don't let your education be a problem for you second like we said yesterday if you are coming from mechanical or non it backgrounds maybe try to avoid don't highlight it properly here don't highlight it here so that by default people might assume btech ka banda hai le lo <laughs> shortlisting to ho jayega later on we will deal with the complexity so these are few tips about education section don't try to unnecessary cause problems for yourself don't include 10th 12th second only include let's say if you have done masters to graduation le lo masters le theek hai 10th 12th to nikal do okay only include the recent pass out okay maybe bachelors and masters include the pass out year that is important including the pass out year is important yesterday we understood the entire drama behind it because if you don't have the pass out year maybe they will be like pata nahi let's not even take this person forward they might ignore it so include the pass out year okay If you are feeling that you are not getting calls, try to remove the pass out here and see what happens. <laughs> But ATS is going to read your pass out here. When this resume goes to the ATS, pass out here is going to be read. And if it does not match with what they are asking for, they might not shortlist you. So include it. It will ATS will uh, compare you basically according. Okay. So rule number one: don't include ten, twelve. Rule number two. recent ye theek hai rule number 3 if percentage is less don't include if it is good include less don't include non it people don't highlight your specialization in electronics and civil avoid it theek hai ghar pe rakho usko don't highlight your specifics we will be honest once we get the interview call later if if they ask anyways when they are asking for documents we will give them then hr will say are bhai tu mechanical ka hai kya kar raha hai yahan pe <laughs> then say are but you have taken my interview i know so much hire me confidently you can sell and they might hire you chances are there 
but initially don't create problems for your own self that is what education you need to be aware of and finally comes certifications and accomplishment if you have anything it's going to act, look good in your resume knowledge you can have it with certification without certification so but they go my simple suggestion since your suggestion to all you members kya hota hai guys if you have done some certification it sounds ke hey, certified professional hai. just naming wise it sounds like certified professional that sounds pretty good right and that is where one suggestion which i make to everybody is always start your resume something like this certified java professional or certified mon professional or certified somebody generally people will assume ke bahut kuch top khan certification kar liya rahega not required you take a small course of 100 rupees on udemy that will give you a certification just include it here certified java professional udemy ka certification laga lo <laughs> that's it but people ko assumption kya jata hai when hr reads hr does you are not saying anywhere what is that certification you are simply saying certified java professional hr feels who oh, some major certification might be there that is where you are highlighting that as the first line okay that helps you to get shortlisted later on when they ask ke okay, what kind of certification showcase it nicely it was a very complex maybe a long course which i did and it was a one month of program i did that i learned it this that now i am very skilled in this you can sell things you can sell things you need to learn how to do that you have to sell yourself during interviews while you are in hr talks okay this is what will be my next tip for you with regards to certification take up any certification and include it in your resume first line no need to provide any proof of that include it you have it with you include it when they ask you just try to confidently sell it yes it was very complex i learned it i trained myself and i have done lot of mini projects because of that yes i am a certified professional baad mein ja ke aata hai udemy certification if they ask theek hai but otherwise you can say i did technology training in java that certification i have it was a very long course month long course kuch bhi kuch bhi bol sakte ho they don't really get into share me the certificate copy they have a lot of things they are checking your knowledge there so they will space, uh, stick with that theek hai okay guys are you guys getting it let me turn the chat on okay it's been like since beginning we are taking okay let's put in you know, a one liner okay, what is running what are you thinking right now okay we had so much of discussion it's like 1 hour 45 minutes discussion okay can you put it into few words okay, what's running in your mind right now okay how confident are you feeling banate put it put it into chat okay yes to samajh raha hai put it into a few words what exactly you are getting what is running in your mind right now what do you really want to do what is your next action plan put it put it into chat everybody okay we will send the resume copy for only those people who have attended minimum 3 sessions it's a 5 day program those who attend 3 sessions we will give it to only them so yes if you have attended all the 3 tomorrow itself over your attendance email we will share it if you have not attended it tomorrow day after attend it whoever have completed minimum 3 sessions i will give all the documents to all such people theek okay? hai so because i need to see ke those who really are putting efforts to learn i would like to give them value rather than uh, some other people theek okay? hai those who are really willing to learn okay theek hai it's pretty good it's pretty good all the members talking about this okay now let's take some rapid fire kind of next questions which will really help a lot of time theek okay? hai chalo i will be 
yes daily we will be connecting at the same time 8 pm tomorrow also day after tomorrow also on youtube itself same way i will share you the whatsapp group you join the whatsapp group there theek hai okay chalo fine all these things are good now let's talk about some very important things further more important things okay <clears throat> okay so all the people will gap and all yesterday's topic you apply we already said how can you do self project non projects where you are not really required to be hired also and you need to include that in your resume and then you should say ki i am currently working we discuss all that watch yesterday session consider the knowledge of every day and then make your next plan valuable information is shared in the past two days also today also amazing topics are happening theek hai fine chalo by this way guys how to build a resume is done i will be sharing you with the information theek hai chalo so far this is taken care now let's go back what needs to be done more ats we spoke we spoke about this we spoke about the resume content we spoke about our how to prepare we spoke about skill sections we spoke about projects mandatory all these things theek hai and finally okay these are few tips for resume i would like to discuss with you i think some of the very common questions which many people will have i've just included it as a separate section called as tips for resume some basic queries which many people have okay so first one is already clear key aspects of ats okay so that is fine we know that next we have already covered this thing document versus a graphic resume my suggestion will be take up a word document because ats is will read that too much of images fonts columns tables will can cause some ats is to not read it because of that it will cause problems read more about it from the uh, link i gave about ats job scan website then you can make proper decision but yes my suggestion is make a simple word document text based easy to learn easy to understand theek okay? hai fine second next question next question people will have okay uh, one page resume or two page resume okay dekho guys even two page resumes are fine i am taking guys don't listen to what people say in the market lot of people are talking lot of crap people might say try to force it everything into one page because it might not go into second no not required guys i'm telling you i have total 14 years of experience and since plus 10 plus years i am conducting interviews since past 10 plus years i interviewed people from all experience ranges now 10 years ka kiya hai 8 years 7 years 6 years 5 years 3 years freshers interns i've interviewed across all the segments and guys i am telling you me and my entire interview panel we never caused any problem for anybody having two page resumes in fact we turn and we see that as well so there is no problem you can have a two page resume and the thing is if you have any ways good project to include then you should definitely extend it right dekho if you don't have a project to showcase then and first of all we need to showcase our skills there by cutting down what are we really trying to showcase okay so the point is yes don't unnecessarily include non value add items in the resume but yes if you follow this kind of template with the project it is going to extend to a two page so it is fine okay just the thing is it is okay to have two page resume but the key thing is first page should have all important information this you make sure okay nothing but the way we have tried to align here okay, in the first page itself this section skill section and even the projects we said recent project may should look like a superstar all of that is covered in the first section itself second section may additional information gets highlighted so something about your recent work is also coming on the first page your skills are also coming here and a quick summary is also coming make sure first page mein it is worth reading and interest catching second page mein thoda less hona chahiye don't hide your secrets and greatness on the second page that will cause you some impact so 
two page resumes are fine but first page should really showcase all your key strengths that is what is the yeah. answer here okay next we already discussed this pointer take up a certification and add it in the resume take up certification and add it in the resume first line or always start like that it is going to consider ye kya ho jata guys hr is hr they don't know much about technology but if they just see oh two people are there one is certified one is not certified they might simply say oh maybe certified person is good let me get this for interview so that keyword has a impact and hr can feel wow about it certified hai bhai le lo <laughs> so that is what it is so i would suggest take up a certification add it in your resume another quick tip small things but good impacts for you theek hai fine next if you can have some accomplishment you can have some accomplishment accomplishment is anything good which you have done okay now let me tell you if you have not done something worth accomplishing in your entire past it's very hard that you have not done kuch to ye reh gaye yaar in your self project in this in that try to find something which you accomplished something you would have done it try to find it maybe in the past 3 years and then include that in the resume kuch to accomplishment should be there independently completed the project with tight timelines on multiple occasions that's an accomplishment awarded the fastest bug solver in my internal college project accomplishment anything something which makes you a sense of accomplishment nobody is going to get into okay, give me the proof of that whether you have accomplished but if you confidently include it and you would have done something find it guys rai ka pahad bana do this is what i will say find something and sell yourself okay yes i accomplished in your resume have some accomplishment at least as part of maybe certificates and accomplishment section somewhere you can have it or maybe in the top summary if that is really relevant for the current job description you can include that year so that your accomplishment is even read so what is happening in the first impact certified professional which all the hot skills uh, hard skills and soft skills and then also accomplished something and a lot of nice skills worked on complicated project hr bolta hai bhai aa gaya banda isi ka to wait kar rahe the this is what your resume is actually trying to sell to the hr team theek hai so these are all simple hacks but it can drastically add weightage to your resume so try to do that certification accomplishments hard skills soft skills what it want skills project may becoming a superstar and then education keeping it on the lower side so that your focus is much on your skills part what freshers do they don't have skills so they education pe so focus karte but times are changing people want freshers who have worked on projects done internships times are changing theek hai okay fine so chalo these are the tips okay fine next you will always hear these things in the market right customize your resume as per jd many people will tell this customize your resume as per jd customize your resume as per jd right a very common term which everybody says the point is one simple thing is once you have this entire resume you can take all these things give it to chat gpt and take the job description and say change this entire resume as make it specific to this jd it will chat gpt will give you a new resume which you can take it and go forward there might be lot of ai based free tools available in the market not just chat gpt you can go to internet lot of tools are available which helps in resume building which will do this kind of work ai wise so spend some time figure out point is if you want this resume which you are creating right now to be converted to any job specific resume you can use the ai tools and within matter of 5 minutes convert that but here comes the question daily you are going to apply for so many jobs at so many places should every single time you convert your resume into job specific resume and then apply i don't think it's really required okay why while we are building this resume we are including constantly we are asking chat gpt include the terms covered by majority of jds by passing through multiple ats so that means 
the default resume which you prepare is by default expected to automatically shortlist for many job descriptions. So spend some time in making one very good resume, which covers all the things very nicely, so that even if same resume you apply everywhere, there is a good chance of shortlisting. First thumb rule to wohi hai. Thik hai? The first thumb rule is that only. I will delete this full section. First thumb rule is make your default resume really good so it can pass through majority of JDs. First, you put this because daily you might apply for 50 jobs, 50 times customization. It's like too much of time waste. So maybe, maybe default you keep like this. But guys, remember on the day one, day one of this workshop, we said five companies every single day, five companies daily. We said deeply connect with them. Nothing but you apply, you drop email, you send connections to four to five members. Then you look for referral opportunity. We said all of those things, right? My suggestion will be, if you really want to customize, then customize your resume for these five companies. Why? Because you are going to invest more time to make it work with these companies. So with whomever you want to really narrow down and do more efforts for them, you can take this resume copy and customize using chat GPT or using any other AI tool. Give the JD, it will come to convert it and give it to you. And then you can forward it to these people. Because you're going to put more efforts with these guys to work. So if your resume is more specific, it will be more valuable there. Okay. So this is going to be my suggestion. Have fun generic. Make that really good and apply it everywhere. But wherever you are going to put more efforts for them, put a custom version of resume, which is specific to that JD. This opens another problem. How will you track which resume you have forwarded for which person? Right? How will you track which resume is forwarded to which person? Nothing but in job hunting. Deko, the people who do job hurting in an organized manner, get it very easily without any frustration. Those who are organized in their job hunting approach, such people will never find worry, no tension, nothing bothering them. Those who do job hunting in an organized manner, Others will all be worrying, panicking, or I'm applying daily. Or you don't even know three days before where you applied. You don't even know which LinkedIn connection has bigger possibility of giving you an opportunity because you're not organized at all. So I will give you a system where you can do job hunting in an organized manner. And that system is this Excel sheet. A lot of things are covered here. Again, as part of the material, Whoever has completed three days, to them, these materials will be shared. There is a separate tracking called as resume submission. Wherever these five companies where you are going to put day one pay, we discussed this. Wherever these five companies are there, you need to track more information. We said, right? Email, contact, LinkedIn, website. You do that here. Okay, what role? Where did you find that company? What is the address of that? Which date you applied of it? How did you apply for it? Where did you hear about it? What was the job description? Okay. Maybe what was the phone? What was the email? What was the website? What was the LinkedIn page? Because with these companies, you are going to do regular follow-ups for at least three to five times. You have to be organized. And guys, daily basis, punch company board. Right? This is not going to take time. But you imagine. You do this kind of organizing for three weeks, 15 into five companies daily. Okay. It's a lot of companies, 75 companies, basically, right? 15, five are. So 75 companies will come in a matter of three weeks. 
25 companies will come in your Excel sheet in a matter of one week. Now, that is what is the power of consistency with organization. Some people will do it for two days and say, I'm not getting results. Array, you will not get it because you will always quit and never be consistent till you get your result. The system works, but for that, you have to do the work. You want to drive from Hyderabad to Bangalore? You can drive. But in between, you say, no, I cannot drive anymore. Still take me to Bangalore. You cannot reach there. You have to sit on that wheel and you have to drive it. Then only you will go there. Sun is shining high. I want to take a break. You keep taking break. I will apply this thing for three days. After that, I will relax. Nothing will work. All your contacts, all your emails, or your LinkedIn connections, everything will become inactive. You have to keep them active. You need to keep them hot. You need to keep them warm. You need to be in touch with them. That's where an organized way of working. Wherever you are applying these five companies, track them. Next, LinkedIn profile, May you are sending them connection requests. We said on the day one, LinkedIn may connection request. Whoever accepts this, that is part of your LinkedIn chat box. Very good. Maybe while you're talking to them, some people sound like they will help you really to get the job while you are in discussions with them. So such people where you find they can help you, you need to again come and track it. Professional network sheet may track their LinkedIn IDs, track which companies they work for so that even after one month, you can call them. If somebody is really helping you, you can call them. You can be in touch with them. Otherwise, you will forget them. If you do job hunting in an unorganized manner, too much pressure will be there. But if you do it with simple tracking consistently, life is going to get pretty easy. Next, which are your upcoming interviews? Maybe you can track that also. Upcoming here. And then what daily actions you are supposed to do? That also you can track with regards to job hunting, with regards to preparation, and with regards to getting maximum results out of your day. What should be your daily actions? You can track that. Next, what should be your job hunting checklist? We discussed the past three days, so much of work. I have prepared a checklist for you. Okay, you do these all things before you actually start even applying for job. You finish these things first. Then parallelly you are doing preparation as part of your daily checklist. Then parallelly you are doing the job hunting, the week one system, everything, a full-on system. Plus on top of that, how do you plan effectively okay, by which date? I should get a job, a goal planning. Okay, by end of April, I should have a job. By end of, let's say, May, I should have a job. If I want to have a job by end of May, when should I be done with my preparation? When should I, I be done with my resume completion? When should I do job hunting? How many hours I should do job hunting? That kind of roadmap preparation should happen. You should be able to see your future in order to create it. That's how successful people accomplish success. Not like crying and randomly trying, oh, somebody will make me an interview call and then I will get a job. No, successful people take charge and they build the future that they want. Yes, you might say, I want to have an interview. I want to have a job by 30 of April. Yes, it's a practical plan. But in order to get the job by 30, you should have already given maybe two, three interviews or next week few interviews should have been lined up for you. If you don't have an interview lined up, you cannot get a job by 30. Now you have to ask a question for getting interviews lined up by next week. What should I do? Now that is the problem you need to solve. Everybody wants the job today, tomorrow, this week. And you want that since the past six months. But if you want the job in the next 15 days, 30 days, 45 days, that is practical. But how do you pass this next 30 days, 45 days? That will define whether you will really get it by 30 or 45 days. If you waste this full time, future is going to be pushed forward. 30 will become 60, 60 will become 90, 90 will become maybe next year, new batch is coming in the market. One year I'm hunting for the job, I don't have the job. Your future is in your hands. Create it. This is what I can say. Don't wait for luck. Don't wait for chance. Create your future. And there's a practical way to create that. This Excel sheet is a master solution which I have put after a lot of thoughts. 
we will be sharing all of these things. Yes, with whoever has completed three days session. If you finish three days today, tomorrow I will share all these material with you. If you have not done three days of attendance, tomorrow, if you do, like we have Thursday and Friday. Okay. So you, it depends upon that. Let's take the attendance and let's close the session today. We will not be sharing attendance link in a WhatsApp group because now I want to just give value to the people who are in YouTube, not even in the WhatsApp groups because you are committed. You are there 10 7 p.m. on Wednesday learning and growing. I want to give you the value, not for anybody random person who is chilling out and saying a link. No, we don't want to help such people who are not willing to help themselves. And that is a taste of life. Okay. Your actions will reward you. And now you took action to come here and listen to the session. So there is a reward coming for you. Universe gave me this thought ke aise madad karo for the people who are really putting efforts, not for anybody who takes it casually. Nahi denge unko. Okay? Fine. 15th of April. This is the attendance sheet. I will paste it into this chat. Okay. Two days. 575 attendants have come in two days. 575 members have attended our past two days. Today is the day number three. Tomorrow's session is very valuable. How to build projects independently without getting hired. Even working professionals who are not, are not on project, they are on bench. Very important session for you guys. Anybody who is not getting a good project exposure, tomorrow's session is for you. Okay. Attendance code for today is... nine eight nine eight and this is the attendance link please mark your attendance everyone please mark your attendance everybody please mark your attendance please submit your learning score please put what are the top things you are understood as part of today's session socho think it is serious time man it's time we take responsibility of I am not getting job. We are not child anymore. We are not students anymore. We are grown ups and we need to get this job and we will do whatever it takes. We will work 10 hours. We will work 12 hours. We will work 14 hours. But there is no market which will not give us job. We will take our job because we are good and we are willing to work for that. That's the attitude which you should have. No more crying, no more blaming. No more complaining, taking responsibility and ownership. Mark your attendance. Once you're done, just comment it in the chat on YouTube and then we will be closing the session. If you're done with your attendance, just comment it as done. And then we will closing session tomorrow, 8 p.m. We will connect again. Please mark your attendance. I'm keeping the session active so that everybody can mark. Okay, if anybody doesn't have the link, please take the link. Later on, don't say I don't have it. Okay, Upender Pranay is done. Janvi is done. Few more. Keeping the session active for some more time so that you have the link with you. If you have not attended three sessions, come tomorrow, come day after tomorrow. Even if today is your first day, come tomorrow and day after tomorrow. All the material, I can even help you in getting job by making you take the right actions. Okay, we can become action takers for getting job. I will be starting that from next week onwards itself. If you really want to take these actions, we can do it together right from next week onwards. Amazing results will come. We can become result oriented. As 14 years I'm working in the IT industry. 40 member team dealed with very complex projects. We can solve this job hunting also very easily. It is not hard, but it needs a lot of efforts. Okay, day one with different ID. Fine, join tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Try to use the same IDs every single day. Okay, guys, chalo. Thank you everybody for your time. Have a nice, peaceful sleep. See you tomorrow, 8 p.m. And wish you all very well. Thank you, Krishna Tiwari, Akshay, Irfan and Atul and all the members who are regular and consistent grow and there is a world waiting for you for your success let's make it happen thank you everybody have a nice day stopping the stream let's go okay